my name is Cadence. I'm a money mentor at the Student Money Management Center and welcome if you're new here. I have a very special video for Money Month this year and it is called Barbie's Budget Boutique where I teach you all things thrifty and nifty and saving money while shopping. I am joined by special guest Taylor, so stay tuned! Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Moore. I am the manager of the One Stop Center in the ESSC. And a fun fact about myself is that I'm currently working on my doctorate degree in higher education. Awesome. So Taylor is with me today because she is a secondhand shopping superstar. <laughs> and she's going to be talking about thrifting, thrift flipping, all of that good stuff. So the first question is, um, what is thrifting? So to me, thrifting is um, a fun adventure. I, I really enjoy the aspect of kind of going out with something maybe in an in intention in mind of what you're interested in looking for, um, but then really just being excited to see what each and every store has. Um, but I really enjoy um, thrifting and secondhand shopping because I think it's a really economical way to um, bring new things into your life. Yeah, it's good for the planet too. Yes. Uh, do you thrift um, in Denton mm -hmm. or outside? And what shops do you recommend? Yeah. So some of my favorite places to thrift in Denton are um, the Denton Thrift Store, Thrift Giant. I like the Goodwill stores. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also do a lot of um, secondhand shopping on like Facebook Marketplace and, oh, I and love some Facebook online, Marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> online things like that. <laughs> uh, do you mainly uh, shop for like clothes or is it furniture mm -hmm. or a mix of both? Um, I would say a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I mostly do um, like looking for furniture and household items mm -hmm. on Facebook Marketplace. Um, but when I go thrifting, uh, I usually am looking for clothes. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what's super underrated too is yard sales. Um, oh, I, haven't, yes. I haven't been to a yard or estate sale in so long. But yes. they do have a lot in Denton and I see them being advertised um, on Facebook Marketplace yes, a lot. I love estate so, sales. Yes, estate sales are, are a super cool way of getting like um, clothes and mm -hmm. furniture for cheap. Definitely. So I definitely think that's a good like way to save money and uh -huh. also saving the environment. Yes. Um, I'm really glad you brought that up because I definitely forgot about yard sales. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about how you got into thrifting? Yeah, so I would say um, maybe several years ago I got into thrifting more than I had in my past. Like mm -hmm. in my family, just kind of growing up, we would stop at yard sales here and there. Mm -hmm. um, my grandma had an antique store, so it's kind of like <laughs> in my blood to like older things or like secondhand things. Mm -hmm. um, but I would definitely say that like during COVID and post COVID, I think I got into thrifting a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, especially, you know, with thrifting being a, like a financial, um, like way to be savvy with your money. Right. Um, I, I felt like it was a really helpful thing for me to do in the past couple of years, um, to try to save and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, not be spending too much money out in like retail stores. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, buying things like brand new can definitely be really taxing oh, on, yeah. on like your bank account. So yes, like, just buying like a previously like loved item, mm -hmm. it's just I don't know. It's just like an awakening. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and like I even when I do retail shopping, I still try to find like mm -hmm. you know. Um, the TJ Maxx's or the Ross's and yeah. like that, but even still, like department stores, like that. Yeah. Yeah. But even still, I mean, you can go into a store like that and still mm -hmm. spend fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on a dress or a shirt. When mm -hmm. if you go secondhand shopping, maybe it's eight dollars. So yeah, um, definitely a lot of savings to be had. Uh, so what is like? How do you how do you thrift basically? Yeah. Like, how do you, how do you start like mm -hmm. delegating items that you love and mm -hmm. want to take home and start like just narrowing down the options? Because there's when yeah. you go to the thrift store, there's so many, there's, there's so, so much, much stuff, and you want to take it all home. Yeah. But how do you like make the decision mm -hmm. decision making process? Sure. So I feel like at this point, with um, you know how much stuff I have personally, that I'm oh. still trying to like rotate in and out so if I if I want to bring some things in I definitely still try to like continue the life cycle and donate some things back to the thrift stores yeah. but when I'm shopping I'm mostly looking for things that I really love because at this point mm -hmm. if I'm going to bring me something too. into my house I want it to be something that I love and that I feel good in and fits me well mm -hmm. so if, uh, if I'm not sure exactly if I want something or not that to me is oftentimes uh, I yeah. should leave it here for someone else. <laughs> uh, do you consider yourself like super trendy or like, oh. do you try to keep like uh, 
there are things that are timeless. Yeah, I would say I, I err more on the timeless side. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a little bit older and a little out of the fashion trend cycle. Um, but I, I, I like to pick things that I find interesting or that mm-hmm. I think appeal to me regardless of kind of what's going on trend-wise. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I also try to balance out like things that I feel like I can wear to work and can, can I multi- can I mm-hmm. can I buy one thing and use it for multiple different yeah. kinds of occasions. Whenever I try shopping for like a special occasion like for a birthday party or something like okay mm-hmm. am I gonna wear this like any other time besides yes. that birthday party is it really sustainable if I just wear it once and like right never tuck it away <laughs> in my closet <laughs> never again right so I try to I try to find things that I can mm-hmm. wear to lots of different kinds of events or in different yeah. situations um mm-hmm. there's a uh versatility yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it definitely has to be like a versatile piece where yes. you can stop dress up or dress down like exactly that. um and how do you think thrifting has affected your personal style? Mm. Um, I think it's cool because I find things that I may not have otherwise ever found. Mm-hmm. So I think when you go to a thrift store, even though you know things may be out of season or mm-hmm. not on trend, like yeah. you know maybe there's ways to mix and match pieces and like make it tailored mm-hmm. to your own sense of style. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that's the fun part of it is that you might just find things that you can yeah, go to the store and find yeah. anymore. True, true. <laughs> yeah. Um, and can you tell me a little bit more about your Goodwill like, mm-hmm. partnership? Like, yeah. Is it a partnership? I don't know what the right yeah. word to use is. So um, three years ago, I um, saw online a mm-hmm. application for, um, I guess it was like a call for mm-hmm. fashion designers, which I am not. <laughs> yeah. So you do it as a hobby. It's just yeah. like for fun. Yeah. It's like a fun yeah. little project. Mm-hmm. So um, every year between like for one month from March to April, um, you can apply and be chosen to participate in this um, fundraising event through Goodwill mm-hmm. where they give you a hundred dollar voucher to their stores and ask you to like create an outfit out mm-hmm. of things you find from the stores mm-hmm. um, that might be like a little unconventional mm-hmm. so um, I've participated the past three years and it's been a lot of fun to just see like what can I make out of these things yeah. I find um, so it's kind of like a fun, different little, you oh, know, definitely. thrifting life. <laughs> yeah. Is it a competition? Or it is, is a competition. Yeah. So um, in April, they have a fashion show that's part of their mm. fundraising dinner. Oh, and they so, cool. so they do the fashion show, and then um, they have some judges who mm. rank, like, maybe their top three favorite looks out of mm. 15 or 20 designers. Um, so it's just like a really so fun cool. experience. And do people like model them? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So it's like some, a little runway. Exactly. Like, so yeah. some people mm-hmm. will um, model their own designs and some people okay. will have a, a model that's come cool. with them. Mm-hmm. But it's just really fun and, and another cool yeah. way to support the, the local thrift stores. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've never like heard about that before. So just yeah. hearing it from you <laughs> is just so amazing. Yeah. You know? It's a really um, fun project. But yeah, mm-hmm. I'm so glad you have that uh, opportunity Me too. and are par- partaking in the community that way. Thank I you. I think it's so unique and yeah. so <laughs> admirable. Thank um, you. As for the clothes itself, mm-hmm. uh, do you are you allowed to thrift flip them or are you just um, given like uh, what you are given and mm-hmm. then you have to style them? So in the competition, you get to shop for the materials that mm-hmm. you want to use yourself. Mm-hmm. So when the competition is over, um, you just kind of keep whatever you make that you don't have to like donate it back necessarily. Oh, okay. Um, but they like they use the runway as a way to help raise funds during their like um, mm. their fundraising campaigns mm-hmm. and their um, their donations and stuff like that. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you are you allowed to alter? You're allowed to alter uh, mm-hmm. as much as you can. Yeah. Um, so how did you get into? Were you a big like thrift? thrift flipper uh, before mm-hmm. then or so I tried a little bit like I think I had seen some people on social media mm-hmm. sharing like oh you know I go shopping for books at the thrift store and I sell mm-hmm. them on Amazon or you know people right. who just you know sell clothing on Poshmark or something like that yeah. <laughs> yeah. which I'm not so savvy about but there was a short little time where I tried doing a little bit of that mm-hmm. and Honestly, it was a little bit more work than I think I had free it's time to manage. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Like, you have to take apart the seams and yeah. like create something new. So, uh, it is a really cool art, though. I yes. Like it. It's really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think at that point, I just decided, 
I need to take a step back. <laughs> yeah. and, and again, just kind of when I do go now to the mm-hmm. thrift stores, just look for things that, again, I love and want to have for mm-hmm. a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it's one thing to be like, oh, this is cool, but I'm never going to. Exactly. I'm not going to wear it more than like <laughs> two times. Maybe, yes. Maybe. But yeah. Do you have any mm-hmm. like tips or tricks for anyone who wants to start thrifting? Yeah. So I would say if you're interested in thrifting, first just go about it with an open mind um, and know that sometimes you're going to go shopping and you won't find anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes you'll go and find handfuls of things that you're super interested in. But um, it can be a really exciting process. Um, it, it's a great way to save money um, and still find clothing that you know matches your style and your interests at a really affordable price. So I encourage everyone to try it. We are on our way to Thrift Giant to go thrifting. Woo! Wow, that's a great deal. So as you can see, this thrift store is absolutely massive. It offers so many different varieties and styles and clothes for both guys, girls, and even there was a kids section. And the prices were amazing. I didn't see anything costing more than about $15. And even the most expensive items were jeans and in really good condition. We are back and we have thrifted some clothes. Um, Well, I have thrifted some clothes (laughs) along with another money mentor. Um, Taylor has not seen these clothes yet. So I'm just going to pull them out and do like a little haul video. Okay. So first off, we have these jeans. Uh, they're Lee brand. I, th- I believe these are men's jeans. Okay. And then we have that. Okay. And then we can also take turns. Um, <laughs> like, so like it's like a, a magic bag. Yeah. Okay, cute. So uh, little... women's like button up. Cute. Mm-hmm. And then I found this in the men's section. Really cool graphic tee. Very nice. Yes. Let's see. It looks like you got some ties. Yes. I wanted an accessory uh, to go along with this tee, but I didn't. Definitely make your trying to go on like a job interview mm-hmm. or something for sure, because mm-hmm. those things can be really expensive. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And these are only like $2, too. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. And then we have some men's shorts, black men's shorts. Those are really nice quality. Mm-hmm. All right. So women's blouse. Also, sorry that all of these are wrinkled. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Cute. Mm-hmm. And then a men's polo. What is this material called? I think it's terry cloth. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's really super thick. soft. Yeah, it's really thick. And we've got like a cute little print skirt. Mm-hmm. Has Donald Duck on there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found, I picked this one out, mm-hmm. um, but it's a really cute um, button up. And it has cute little stripes on it. Yeah, I like the stripes. Mm-hmm. It's like chocolate raspberry. Mm-hmm. This last thing, oh no, another thing. Yes. Another pair of pants. Those are women's jeans, I believe. Mm-hmm. And they're really nice. Mm-hmm. Straight legged. Mm-hmm. I like the little line detail mm-hmm. on them on the front. Yeah, the seam. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. And this is this is a skirt. Nice. Look at that. It's a summery and mm-hmm. cute. Mm-hmm. I believe. Oh, there's one more thing. Yes. Okay, two more things. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got a little white blouse. Mm-hmm. Woo! And that completes our thrift haul. Yay. Um, so we have a mix of different styles of both for guys and girls and a mix of different sizes. Um, so these were picked out by me, another money mentor, and as well as our assist, our director, Paul. Um, so it's really interesting to see like how many different styles and like mm-hmm. how many different like uh, things we picked out. Um, but how do you, how much do you think this stuff costed? Like all of this? Um, I, don't, I have the right answer right have here. the right answer. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna guess. I know thrifting, the prices have gone up a little bit than how mm-hmm. much they were oh, before. Oh, for reference, this was, yeah. was, this was Thrift Giant. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to guess 
$120. Okay, so the correct answer is $80.26. Wow. Woo! What a steal. Yeah. Um, they had like a little uh, discount too. Mm -hmm. I think they do daily discounts. Oh, awesome. that, that was probably why um, it was not a hundred dollars. Yeah, I was okay. really surprised because I thought like all this stuff would uh -huh. be a hundred dollars. I, I think that's this stuff great. would be closer to 120 if mm -hmm. it was brand new. Mm -hmm. Um, but definitely you can't beat that price. No, because I know yeah. like you said, sometimes mm -hmm. thrift stores will have like color coding on their tags, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so sometimes when I go thrift shopping. If I really like something, but it's not one of those special colors for the day, I like wait and then yeah. like I'll go back the day that it's supposed yeah. to be on sale and hope it's still there. Yeah, it says uh, today's twenty five percent tags. So oh nice, twenty five percent, not bad at all. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have Taylor style her mannequin, mm -hmm. and we will be right back. First outfit is done. She has paired the white women's button up with their super cute jeans with the visible seam. Um, Taylor, what was your inspiration behind this? Yeah, I was just gonna look for something kind of casual. I really like the pants, and so I was trying to decide which shirt would look best with the pants. And I thought kind of about how nice the weather's been out recently, and so I thought maybe just like a fun little weekend outfit. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Outfit number two. All right, what would you call this outfit, Taylor? Yeah, so I wanted to do a little bit of a contrast with the last outfit that was kind of more casual, like for going out on the weekend or something like that, with maybe something that shows that you still can find really nice kind of work-related work clothes. So if you have like a job interview coming up, I know sometimes those are clothes like we were talking about last time that maybe you're not gonna wear super often, but um, so thrifting can be a great way to find work appropriate clothes or clothes for job interviews that aren't going to cost you a ton of money. So yeah. that's what I was thinking about with this one. Nice. I agree that it's a good um, workplace outfit, but I also agree it's kind of giving brunch vibes too. Yeah. Like brunch with the girls. Or you can swap it out with those jeans we had on the last uh, mm -hmm. outfit and again, still have like a super cute going out outfit. All right. Our next outfit. What would you call this outfit, Taylor? Um, so this one, we just decided to go for something a little playful. We liked the fact that the colors kind of go together between the skirt and the top. Um, and the fact that it's, you know, this uh, cartoon character is kind of fun and whimsical. And then we thought we might just try something different with the scarf to see if we can make it look like a, a different kind of accessory than, uh, I'm sorry, an actual tie. <laughs> we made it into a scarf. So this is just supposed to be a little fun and playful. All right. All right. Okay. So let's see what we've got. We've got the jeans. Okay. Tell me what your thoughts were. So just for funsies, mm -hmm. I designed my own mannequin. Yeah. And while I was at the thrift store, while I was uh, searching through like the men's clothing and stuff, I wanted to do more like kind of like a masculine skater boy, early two thousands kind of look. Mm -hmm. So this is. Um, the tie that we made kind of slouchy, and then the oversized uh, graphic tee, as well as the striped button up, and the baggy jeans that we got. I so, love how all the colors mm -hmm. go together. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. But yeah, bad boy from the 2000s core, yeah, <laughs> I will say. Perfect. All right, our last outfit. Taylor, tell me about this one. Yeah, so again, just kind of thinking like the weather's getting nice, people are going outside, so we thought this is like a nice, Again, kind of going out to brunch or just hanging out on the weekend type of outfit with the shorts that are super nice, soft material, and then the polo. And here are the finished outfits along with the prices of each outfit. Honestly, I am super satisfied with these pieces and how cohesive they all look together. Big shout out to Taylor for styling these mannequins. Um, if you're ever wondering how to save money while shopping, please hit up your local thrift store. And of course, thank you for watching.